Hello y'all, this is Brushfire Wind Dragon, and welcome back to World of, War World of Warcraft. Uh, today we're working on Ryu and Rosa in Dragonflight. Have you anything new to I am so excited! Are you ready to begin our new adventure together? I look forward to hearing what you've learned. Our preliminary expedition has made landfall in the Dragon Isles. Thanks to the efforts of those brave Dragon Skill expedition members, We've established a protected landing site in the Dragon Isles and made contact with the Dragonflight's embassy. Are you prepared to accompany us on our next voyage to the Dragon Isles? Remember, the expedition Zeppelin shouldn't be too long now. Please, chat with your fellow explorers while we wait. Yeah, I think you really just sent her over there already. Oh, 20 seconds. That's nice. For some reason I was thinking it had to fill with the bar, but here's the here's the uh zeppelin. Yeah, that's <clears throat> that's a good feeling knowing you're not going to have to wait forever. Yeah. The defiant dragon skill. Georgia, what are you doing? We shall depart for the dragon island. The defiant dragon scale in all its uh, spiky glory. All aboard for adventure, my friends. Finally, I could have flown there and back again by now. I did not I mind at all. Yeah, Georgia, I, I tell you, don't don't touch the keyboard. You'll get plenty of pictures in the Dragon Isles. So many new species to document. And maybe get eaten by. <laughs> Georgia, I love you, sweetie, but. The keyboard is not something to lay on. <sighs> yeah, I know. I love you too. I try to move the keyboard out of your way, but she still hits buttons. <laughs> well, you're you're touching all the buttons. She's not she's even trying to. She's just cuddling up to the side and accidentally oh. hitting buttons. Yeah. Oh goodness, baby. I captained hundreds of smuggling operations, launched right under Elison's nose. If anyone understands subtlety in navigation, it is I. I guess you have to be up top to hear all the voice, all the uh, dialogue. As far as I know, that's the only dialogue. But like, you don't hear what anybody else is saying to him. Are you up in the crow's nest? Uh, not yet. It's still loading. Okay. It's weird that it's taken this long. Okay, now I'm in the, uh, uh, crow's nest. Ah, uh, I missed all the dialogue because it took so long to load. Sorry. Oh. You want me to read what I've got? Uh, if you want. Well, all it is is what... Yeah, they're all, uh, voicing their, uh, excitement. Maybe I have that turned off online, because okay. I didn't... Have 
question. Welcome to the Dragon Isles. That proto dragon looks hungry. Uh, Cinder Thrust glances nervously at the proto dragons lurking on the ridge behind her. I'd swear that those proto dragons edge closer to camp every time I turn my back. Those are not the dragons Abyssian invited us here to meet. Proto dragons are ruthless predators that cannot be reasoned with. We must be ruthless in return. Call their numbers to keep their ambitions in check, or this expedition will be over before it begins. Anything for an ally. What have you learned lately? Don't mistake the expedition's scholarly pursuits as timidness, Ryu. We are not recluses studying books in far off towers. We are adventurers hunting down knowledge firsthand in every corner of Azeroth. This, that passion for adventure often leads us onto the path of perils and hazards, and a few expedition members have bitten off a little more than they could chew. Let me know what you find. Oh! She's got a little bird on her shoulder, and when it, in storyline, it, 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 uh, it's hovering behind her, like above her head. Oh, well, thanks. You didn't bring much luggage either, huh? Boss McGuire opens his hand to reveal a dove, dull black stone in his palm. All I need is my tools and my lucky rock. We'll get everything else we need here as we go. We'll have plenty for you next These protodrakes are unlike any I've seen before on Azeroth. Their scales appear to be naturally flame resistant and stronger than steel, and don't lose flexibility in the process. Incredible. My artisans, all of them, are clamoring to get their hands on some of those scales to work with. Start with the whelps. The smaller scales should be more pliable until we mastered our techniques with them. When you need more goods, let me know. I suggest we keep moving. It's actually kind of sad. Will be waiting for us at the embassy at the Hill. That we're killing the whelps? Yeah. Attack. I can use a good fight. Uh. I forgot to choose a the wind profession want? before we left. Oh. You want to go back? Look no, it's okay. We're here and we can learn proficiency here. Have to <laughs> it's been a while since I played a, a drac there, so I have to remember how to fight again. Uh, somebody over here to help. the corner. Oh. No idea what I'm doing. Sorry, dragon bones. There'll be other rib cages to study, but only one me. <laughs> I'll carry these bone fragments to our camp at the embassy. Thanks. And that poor Torrens being carried around by the uh, proto whelps. Yeah, I see you, Ancient Hornswog, but I can't do anything about you yet. Oh, 
That's one we can kill. Okay, I got it mixed up with a different one. I was almost proto dragon food. How exhilarating. Wait till Lazy hears about this adventure. <laughs> I don't know where you are. I ran across the water because there oh. is a, a, a rare over here. In the cave? Yes. Okay. Welcome to the Dragon Isles, adventurers. I was thinking of the one on the... Uh, a different one on the main aisle where, uh, uh, um, it's a hornswog in a cave, and you have to, uh, get it something to eat before it'll let you in, and get the treasure behind it. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. I don't think I've done it. Yeah, I haven't either. <laughs> uh, gliding while you're in visage is really cool. <laughs> yes. I do like that. Okay, that's all the skill uh, skills we need, or I need. Okay. And here they attack me again. Are you using Azure Strike? Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, here's a Magma Slug. Yeah. Okay, Lazy is down in this, uh, little lava cave area. Yeah. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh oh. Oh, oh I'm just, so sorry. Oh, oh, we got swaglets. Oh no. <laughs> and snails. <clears throat> okay. Wow has given me a deep and abiding fear of snails. <laughs> okay. Um, and Lacey said, thanks for the safe, buddy. I'll name the next cave I discover after after you. Rizustrasa Cavern has a nice ring to it. Ah. Uh. Or, and Ro he, pro he says Rosa Straza too. Yeah. You know, just what I. That one is evading. Yeah, I think we should just let it. Oh, it's almost dead. Well, I mean, there's another player nope. there, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it go. Yeah, it's still evading and its health's going up. Okay. The AC went out. Yeah. Evidently it's going to be a week. I can hear Dad talking about it. 
it's supposed to be today, and there's no. No, he had the the guy came today, but oh. he's got to order the part. Ah, it's not gonna kill us. Ah, I could use your expertise. The dragons are not here to meet us as Abyssian Abyssian said they would be. I look forward to hearing what you've learned. How unusual. Abyssian told us that Rathian would be waiting our arrival along with an ambassador for Alexstrasza at the Lifebinder, Queen of the Dragons. It isn't like a dragon to break a promise. At least this eager draconate is here to greet us, which you kindly inquire and when the others shall arrive. Remember, there's magic in discovery. So this used to be an imb- Oh, it is truly an honor to be the first member of the Dragon Flights to welcome you to these shores. I am Cadet Syndrax. Please forgive my nerves. This is my first assignment. And what an incredible assignment it is. Welcome again. Shall we shake hands? I believe I read somewhere that mortals like to do that. But you aren't like most mortals, aren't you? So this used to be an embassy for mortals? According to my history teacher, yes. Thousands of years ago, I think he said. History was never my strength, though. I trust the dragon spawn to tell me what I need to know. You can ask Ambassador Fastras uh, in the Embassy Tower behind me if you want to learn more. So have you never seen a Drac there before? Syndrax <laughs> looks away quickly. My apologies. Was I staring? You must forgive me, but I have never seen any of your kind before. I've heard rumors from the other cadets, but Syndrax looks sad. It sounds like you've already faced more than your fair share of hardship. I hope that your time here in the Dragon Isles will bring, bring you some comfort. Same as I wish for all the mortals arriving lately. There are so many of them. Why? Yes. yes. I had I'm sorry, go ahead. That's okay. Uh, we're asking uh, Syndrax what's going on. But I am honored to be the one to welcome you to the Dragon Isles. Yeah. yeah. On my first real this makes me sad, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love Syndrax. Get, get your toes off the keyboard. I love you, but please don't. And then it does this thing, but I guess it's just an excuse to walk around and see what's going on. Well met, Ryu. Could I interest you in earning... Uh, Plentiful riches as a contributor to the Artisans Consortium. Please be careful, friend. Could I have a moment of your time? I'm worried about another Drac there that passed here. He asked my associates and me all kinds of questions, but seemed disappointed with our answers. He called himself Talon Athrethi. I believe that makes him quite junior among your amongst your ranks. I got the sense that he could use a hand. Mind helping me keep the peace? I saw him talking with Colmar over there. How can I help? What is the Artist Consortium? The Artist Consortium is a collection of entrepreneurs and artisans, much like yourself, who provide goods and services to crafters and gatherers in need. As we speak, the Artisans Consortium is setting up a trading service to connect crafters with their customers. Uh, do you know any artisans who might want to know about our work? I don't have any professions yet, so no, sorry. Oh, that is too bad. Perhaps you could take up a profession? There is always time to learn, yes? What are the Dragon Isles, if not a fresh opportunity to reinvent yourself? Just consider it, okay? If you do decide to take up a trade skill, I shall be around. Your skies and safe journeys. Hi. Okay. I never worked with a metal quite like this before. It's incredible. That came out more southern than... Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. I, you mean the whirlwind of questions? I he spent some time looking over me shoulder, fretting the whole time too. I let him give the old hammer a go. Broke the shaft cleaning too. That seemed to upset him. He asked if I had any spare nails, then disappeared. I didn't even get the chance to tell him how good of an arm he had. I think he chewed Toninar's ear a bit as well. Okay. I build on that and he'd make a fine smith. <coughs> I can instruct Did you. you up, what? Did you pick a place on the map? 
What do you mean? Um, there's a map right here. Oh, I haven't. Okay. Uh, okay. I can instruct you on skinning and how to gather skins of higher quality. Interested? Ah, Talon Etherethy. A keen eye if I've ever seen one, but a heavy gaze. I asked him if he'd ever skinned a beast before, and he replied that he was only trained to kill, not to create. And what a shame it is! Fingers like Quicksilver that one had. I gave him the knife for a moment, and he'd cleaned a foot of villain before I could so much as blink. He tore a corner in his haste, and that seemed to dampen his mood. He asked to borrow a scrap of parchment, to which I obliged, then walked off, stalked off in the direction of Aster on the far side of camp. Dionys Aka. I'll name the next ki- oh. <laughs> that Drakthir. That Drakthir was a princess material, if only he'd listened. Now I'm gonna talk to Mama Grimax. Stay focused on our mission. Aka, my gosh, Ryu. This expedition is under the protection of both the Horde and the Alliance. Our instructions are clear. Give aid to any members of the Dragon Scale expedition, regardless of their other allegiances. The Alliance's representatives, Captain Garrick and her son Henry, stand guard on the other side of camp. I fought with Captain Garrick against the Scourge. She is honorable and will serve the expedition well. Go offer her your assistance. Show her that the Horde honors its agreements. Okay. Never stop training. Do you really think we can trust them, Mother? I fought alongside many honorable alliance in the Scourge invasions, Captain Garrick included. You call that a uniform? That may dissuade them from attacking the expedition camps for a time. It's either be eaten in the Dragon Isles for you. You'll do well to remember that. Let's get back to training. My artisans are the best on Azeroth. Have you got the skills yet? The alchemists are getting antsy, and that always makes me nervous. Boss Magora carefully studies the scales. Our artisans will put these to good use. Thank you. Craft your goods with care. Baladash, Malanore. If you're here for the telescope, it's a Chairs family and heirloom and uh, unequivocally not for sale. Remember the sun well. Where did you see that? No, it's something Aster said. Oh, okay. He had <laughs> aptitude and potential. He just wouldn't slow down. Anaria Shola. Tati and N Nale Naladea have requested a survey reported the surrounding area immediately. Luckily, I've acquired an enchanted telescope and survey assist that will help us scout out nearby areas from the safety of the clouds. Unluckily, I am deathly, af deathly afraid of heights and cannot bring myself to set put foot on the contraption. You are not afraid of heights, are you? Death to all who oppose us. I have enchanted the telescope to seek out nearby points of interest. Simply give it an order and haul it on for the ride. Ooh. Water elementals. And not a shape we've seen before. Incredible. The elements here surge with power. Dragon Riders. <laughs> Dragon Riders? I gotta race them! And the Jaren. I probably said that wrong. See a fancy fight with that one. Mm. 
A new Bellore della Na. Aster sighs a breath of... Breathes a sigh of relief. Okay. I thought for certain you would plummet to your death from up there. Thanks again for taking the risk so that I was not required to. We will have just... No, no. I am happy to keep my feet planted firmly right here on the ground. Are you a dwarf? <laughs> <laughs> Have you decided what professions you're going to take? Uh, unfortunately, I have not. Okay. Okay, there's the flight master. Mm -hmm. uh, not bad, Private Garrick. Continue practicing your orcish. It will prove useful on this assignment. Yes, Mom. I mean, Captain Garrick. <laughs> we have a mission to accomplish. Captain Garrick salutes your approach. Warlord Brecca proves her honor once again by sending you to me. Best of luck to you. The crafters, artisans, and explorers of the Dragon Scale Expedition are ill-suited to the vigors of battle. But not you and I, are you? You're in the Dragon Isles. Let us use that strength to protect those who can't protect themselves. Clear out the elementals encroaching from the north so that the expedition can focus on their noble pursuits. We'll meet again. Wish our comrade luck, Private Garrick. But blood and thunder, friend. Oh, he's trying so hard. You are welcome here. Always glad. To are you looking for work, Evoker? I represent a new trade company, the Artisans Consortium. Which matches artisans and clients through our crafting orders network. The Dragon Scale Expedition placed an order from some enchanted mining tools. The tools are crafted, but we would like to test them before completing the yellow order. We will pay, pay you for our services, of course. Dionysa How are ya? Hey. See you soon. Have you ever seen such powerful elementals? Grun cheers. I hear the guards grumbling about having to fight them all the time, but they're missing the big picture. Bigger elementals means... Uh... I don't know. Uh... Let's see. Safe travels. Off with you. Bigger crafting components. While you're out there clearing the elementals for our safety or whatever it is you'd be doing, be sure to pick up pieces of the biggest ones you can find. I want to try making something out of them. I had to shift in my chair. See you soon. Okay. Don't forget, I want the biggest you can find. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, now I can, I'll turn in where is Rathian. Do you need my help? I do not know. As I said, this is my first assignment. Let me think on what to do. Please enjoy your time here. I'm always here to help. I wish I knew more about how to welcome you to the Dragon Isles, but I'm only the sentry. Sendrax motions to the tower behind her. You could try talking to Ambassador Fastras in the visitor center. He might be able to answer more of your questions before the dragons arrive. Mind your step in there. He was clearing out rubble last I saw. Please enjoy. So you two were adversaries before leading this expedition together? Ah, uh, ah yes. The Horde and Alliance have a long history of rivalry. But Toddy and I pursue knowledge, not violence. And adventure! Knowledge is only half the fun! The dragon flights welcome you to these shores, honored Drak, their guest. Queen Alex Strassa offers her warmest greeting and awaits the opportunity to host you at the life pools when your journey takes you there. But do not rush beyond your own desire. 
It has been thousands of years since feet of your kind walked this land. It can wait a while longer. Why is the embassy in ruins? You have my sincerest apologies for the current state of the embassy. We have only recently begun repairs to restore this em embassy to its former glory as a shining beacon to all the citizens, denizens of Azeroth. I trust that the hospitality of the dragonkin you meet along the journey more than make up for the lack of physical comforts. Please, rest as long as you like before taking the wonders of the Dragon Isles at your own pace. Why do dragons have an embassy for mo mortals? The Dragonflights are proud to have been entrusted by the Titans as guardians of Azeroth. But they recognize they are not alone on this planet or in that effort. The embassy was established to welcome mortals to our shores and teach them about our charge, our flights, and our ways, all in the hopes that mortals would choose willingly to stand alongside us in defense of Azeroth when needed. Okay. Take this guide. It shows the embassy's many amenities. <sighs> if they weren't all in disrepair. The Embassy Visitor Log is a massive tome with a number indicating it is only the recent and long archive of such logs. Each page is filled with an elegant handwritten form for each villager to fill out, a visitor to fill out. <laughs> okay, we got Riustraza. Riostraza, Dracthe Evoker, Grand Evoker Riostraza, Razageth the Storm Eater, Alexstraza the Life Binder, Queen of the Dragons, Riostraza the Life Binder, Riostraza the Real Queen of the Dragons, Rathion's BFF, Chromi, Dreamy Eyes Calicos, The Angry Ghosts of Ysera, and Stonehead. <laughs> I would call her Grand Evoker. That seems fitting. Okay, arrival date. Today's date. Today's date, hour, minute, and second. Tomorrow, the not too distant fu future. As quickly as I could. Sorry I'm late. I'm always late. <laughs> Precisely when I meant to. After everyone's done setting up. Last call, I hope. I'm very late. Okay. The purpose of the aid the dragon flight, accompanying the dragon scale expedition. Personally invited by Alexstrasza for the horde for Azeroth, my purpose is my own to help those in need. To best mighty foes in glorious battle. Why does anyone do anything epic loot? I was dragged here by someone I care about. You tell me. I don't request. I just complete them. Mm. What a joy it is to see new signatures in the visitor's log after all these years. Okay, well that's 30 minutes, give or take, and uh, so this is a good place to stop. Thank you all for watching, and this is Brushfire 1.